Basically, this side you're going to observe first, while these, these, these three tables will be doing something, okay? Um, you, you'll need timers. Judges, you'll be the judge over there. If you're by yourself, you're a judge. You're, oh, oh, Blaine, you can't sit there. Liz, you can't sit there. You've got to come sit over here. Because you're having... Two, you'll understand why. Would you, just don't, don't ask questions. <laughs> this is the judge, you're the debaters. Debaters or speakers, you're actually the speakers, you're the debaters, you're the judge. Laura, you're going to be over here, okay? Okay, does this make sense? Now listen, spar. Basically, if you're spar, these, these two tables are spar. The judge, here's a, here is a, um, a scoring rubric you can use. Yes, there's, yep, there's one right here. Scoring rubric, don't worry, that's already been written on, just, just ignore that. Actually, you're, you're impromptu, so you need an impromptu rubric, which is that one. Okay, spar, really quickly, what you're going to do, there's a prompt, and, you, there, and basically, the, the, if you look on the piece of paper for instructions, judges, you, you are going to be the timer. They will, the, you two, if you're, if you're a debate pop, um, pair, you need to, one person needs to choose the prompt, which is dogs are better than cats, or... Christmas is a happier holiday than Thanksgiving. And then the other person chooses whether he or she's going to be on the affirmative or the negative. Okay? Judge, you make sure that happens. And then they have a minute for preparation. And then the affirmative will stand up for two minutes. Two minutes is really hard. In the last class, people could not do it for two minutes. You can adjust this to the age. But in, in Lincoln Douglas, for example, they actually dock you points if you don't use all of the time. So use examples from history, use examples from literature, use examples from your personal life, bring in real life examples. And then, so the affirmative will speak for two minutes, the negative speaks for two minutes after that. We may, get, may or may not get to the class, just for time's sake, but you'll get the idea. So do you understand what SPAR is? SPAR, you ready to go? Do you have any questions for SPAR? I have a question. Are you talking to all of us? No, 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 you're impromptu, you're not SPAR. Look at the sign on your table right there. Okay? So you, you begin. Choose what you're going to do. And I'm prompt to. What you're going to do is you choose, you, you're you going to write a speech within, write and deliver a speech within seven minutes. Okay? And you're given a topic. The topics are family chores and homework. Ideally, so you need to choose a topic that you're both going to do. Yeah. So, but, and then what she will do is she judges how well you delivered it, how your organization, your clarity of your examples, your conclusions, uh-huh. Okay, listen again. You have seven minutes to write, to, to write and deliver the speech. And so you've got to determine within that. So you put the timer on for seven minutes. You need to choose a topic. What topic are you gonna do? Chores. Okay, you're doing chores. Seven minutes, and, uh-huh. And one of you, one of you may, for time's sake, may, maybe we do, each of you takes a minute to share a little bit, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't, we won't use the full seven minutes, because we're running out of time. Does that make sense? There you go. Any questions on what they're doing? Should we talk? Do you want to talk? Because you're not doing fish, pull, and bapa just yet. We're going to do that after they're done. Actually, you know what, though? With this class, I want them to... Because it's fun for you to actually watch what they're doing. And then we can do. But let, let's talk a little bit about what they're doing. I know Bethany Corey was in here. That's her last name, not Corey. And she was saying that, she said, I don't know if my students can, you know. And she said, wait, in SPAR, one of them could be the British. And one could be the, could be the colonists. And I said, even if you want to take out their notebooks, have them look at their notes, give, during that one minute prep, they look through all their notes. And then they have, they basically, they're teaching. I'm going to argue why the British were the better side. I'm going to argue why the colonists had, had the right to do what they did. Um, we thought about characters from literature. And one of their, if you have an, two, two really good protagonists, which one has the better character? And they have to pull out their T-charts. And then they have to close their T-charts, and they have to stand up, and they have to defend that protagonist as being the best one, or, or why the antagonist got the short end of the deal. right? Why Anna really isn't that bad. Okay. Who wants to go ahead and roll? Yeah, background. you you can see. Yeah, yeah, you're just background. Pretend like we're not even here. Yeah. In my class, we've done what's called organelle debates. So the organelles in the cell, they have to debate why that organelle is the best yes. and most needed. Yes. Where in essence, they're all the best and all needed. Right. But they have to argue that, which means they have to know their vocab. They have to know what mm -hmm. the organelle does. They mm -hmm. have to understand back mm -hmm. and forth. And it is a great tool for them. It, it is so fun. They're, what, they're put on the spot. And what's what, with, with SPAR and Impromptu, see Impromptu, what they're doing is they choose a topic, and you can see on the instruction sheet, they, they could choose from either family, 
chores or homework. And they've cho both chosen chores, and so they have seven minutes to write and deliver a speech. And then the judge, the judge sits there and listens. Great organization, I like their thought process, and, and the judge chooses who wins. And what I do, when I do, like I say, for example, we're going to do SPAR today, everyone. Here, here's the resolution, and it'll be from something we've been reading or discussing. Or what I do is I say, okay, guys, pull out your resolutions, because let's say we've just finished an article on the Kentucky resolutions. We read by, by Jefferson, 1798. And I say, okay, I want you to write three resolutions and three test questions from this document. And I choose the best resolutions and test questions, and I hand them out. And I say, and I say by the way, you better write really good resolutions and test questions, because your classmates are going to be using them. And you really don't want to look foolish in front of them. Or I'll have their parents come in and be the judges. And well, you should see how they step up when they have to be on. You know, you basically you're on you're on stage. Any questions on spar or impromptu? These can be used in all ages, frankly. What you're going to be doing, bop it, requires writing skills. Okay. So if you don't know how to write, bop it's going to be really hard. Hmm? <laughs> right. But ultimately, um, <laughs> yeah, so one of you would start. Or not. They can be listen. They, 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 they can listen. If you want to come over and listen to, to Brigham give a portion of his speech, you're welcome to come listen. If you stand up, then we know what you're doing. There we go. Some might say life is a chore. But chores are a rite of passage. Who can forget mowing lawns, taking out the garbage, or... And you guys just can ignore him. Can keep going. You've got to ignore him. Chores. In a real situation, because we have so many kids in the class, I'll put some outside if the weather's nice. I'll put a group in the vestibule. We'll take chairs out. The judge will sit down. And the right in the hallway, we do it a lot. We just send them down the hallway. We go into another room. We go into the North Auditorium and split them up. I do recall my father as a young boy. Uh, Impromptu is they take a topic, or you can do a resolution too, but typically a topic, me that no we, we had homework, chores, or family. Not, not okay, you, you start to talk about family, you have seven minutes the to write a speech on family. Discipline. Seven minutes to write it and, and deliver it. It has to all be done in seven minutes. Um, so they've got to write and organize, and then look at their timer and go, oh my god, we're going to tell the judge, can you tell me when I'm at three Indeed, minutes? Because then I'm going to speak for four minutes, I'm going to speak for one minute, I'm going to speak for five minutes, I'm going to speak for two minutes. the sweat of his brow, he would earn the bread of each day. Likewise, he was cursed with labor. Yes, child labor. For both Eve and Adam. So, for impromptu, the judge is looking at strength of argument, where arguments well constructed, appealing and persuasive, organization, do the ideas of the speech proceed from one to the next in logical fashion. Did the organization of the speech make the speech more understandable? Delivery. Was the delivery fluid, engaging, and appropriate for the speech? Did the delivery add to the overall persuasiveness of the speech? Spar. Spar is strength of argument, organization, delivery, and courtesy. Some students will lose just because they got hot headed, a little bit heated, and they said something they should be saying. Sure, it can build the confidence of our children, but it wasn't different. Can we get to the last? Uh, I walked into oh, yeah. the room sure. about myself. Am I my child's slave, or is my child my slave? And, and I think I would like to have them be my slave, but maybe that's not the best idea either. I think about Mr. Covey, Stephen Covey, who's such a great speaker. And, uh, okay, 30 seconds and wrap it up. 30 seconds. As I've taught my kids, I've tried to help them to understand the principle behind every chore. And without the principle, the chore becomes a real painful task. So instead of mowing the lawn, it's green and clean. Uh, cleaning the bathroom is, or not take out the trash, but make sure we have a clean, safe, and healthy environment. The writing part is just the organizing of and they can see the chore in a different way and in a different light. So, as a parent, how do I help my kids do great chores? Three seconds. Follow the behavior, participate with them, and teach over and over. Beautiful. Everyone stop. Okay, stop. Very good. Very good. Now listen really quickly. Spar 
is basically a, a mini version of Lincoln Douglas. Lincoln Douglas is about 35 to 40 minutes. You, come, you have topics well in advance that you have, to, you have to respond to, be prepared to argue both sides. Spar is a little simpler. Impromptu is, is a mini version of oratory. And oratory is where you have them write a speech, they have to memorize it, and they have seven to 10 minutes to deliver it. They have, they have to give it within seven to 10, no less than seven minutes, no more than 10 minutes. And, they have, and, you, and you judge them on, again, you can, you can actually have them sh you know, give you a copy of the written speech, or you can look at that, and then you give, judge them on delivery, and the class, or you have the students judge them, whatever you want to do. Start thinking in this way, okay? Is that good? Interesting? Okay, what I want you to do now is, um, I need some observers over here. We're going to need, let's see, how many more seats do we have? I need another person. So this table, why don't you work your way into the bop it scene? You need to be in a circle. So figure out how to get yourselves in a circle here, OK? The, this, these two groups, you're going to be observers with the fishbowl, OK? So come and be observers. We do have a, a, a seat right here for fishbowl. If we wanted to put another chair right there, OK? And see, the judges would give feedback. And you would actually choose who wins and who loses. Okay? They love that. Yes? Right. They're staying right there. So you're going to put a chair right there. You're going to sit right here. You're going to put a chair right here. Okay, let's go. I need some observers watching around. Maybe some on this side, too. So Jeff and uh, Jesse, why don't you come over here? Why don't you come over here? Bring your chairs. Rob and, and Chris Ann and Ty, you you ready to move on? Yeah, come on. Oh, you still have it? That's wonderful. Who, who did? Well, I, won't, I don't want to who won. Why don't you be observers? You guys, Brigham, why don't you? Someone can sit right here and actually be dis some in discussion. Who wants to be right here? Rob, why don't you get in there? Okay, what I want you to do is you're going to go to the prompt. The prompt that's, be that's between Boppet and Fishbowl. The prompt is this, according to some statistics, um, you guys wait over there, Bob, but I'll explain in a second. Arranged marriages um, result in fewer divorces while love marriages, quote unquote, that's one of our, our Nepalese students, she wrote her own thesis on arranged marriages versus love marriages. I thought that was an interesting term. And they have a few, and they have a 50% divorce rate. Why? So what happens with Fishbowl is you have a, a number of students that start out the discussion, you're going back and forth, and you can say, Everyone has to speak at least once, or you, you can speak twice, and then those who are observing, once someone has spoken once or twice, depending on the rule, you can tap on their shoulder and they have to leave and you join the conversation. What you'll find is a lot of students seriously don't like it very much at first. They watch it and they think, I'm not going to get involved. But Liz will say something that just absolutely <laughs> makes them so mad, and they hop at it. In fact, they wait, some of them hover just waiting for Jeff to say one thing because because he's, he's the one that, you know, wh whatever. And he's gonna, they want to get in so badly. <laughs> and they want to get in again and again and again and again. Oftentimes, we'll do a bop it. And then they'll afterwards, they'll want to do fishbowl because they want to hear more opinions because bop it is limited. Okay? So what I, while, while, while I'm working with them, I want you to start the discussion. And you, you tap in your observers. And, and you, you decide what the rule is. I'll let you just make, make that decision. Why don't, we, why don't you just do one for time, time purposes? And ready, go. Bop it. You'll need a piece of paper. Find a piece of paper, half a piece of paper, a piece of paper. I had some paper there. See if you can pull a piece of paper out. Okay. What you're going to do. Okay. No, no, you're actually part of it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all in the circle now because it'll go. So bop it. Why? What you're going to do is you're going to take, take, take the very same prompt right at the top of your page. You'll put your name at the top and then write the prompt at the top of your page, ready, go. I'm moving fast for time purposes, I apologize. Yes. No, I'm trying to get instruction from a camera. Thank you.